It's going to be fantastic. Now, on the outside of your stamp to just envelope, you need to say which day you'd most like to go on. Thursday, Friday, Saturday or Sunday. Write down your days in order of preference and the Big Bash will try to send you a ticket of your first choice. But if they run out, they'll send you one for another day. And you're only allowed one application per household and the free ticket is for two children and one adult. So we look forward to seeing you there at the NEC in Birmingham. Now we've nearly run out of our fact pack 25 minutes of Blue Peter. We have just got time to delve into the F file. Fancy transporting yourself back in time to the greatest clash of all, the date 1066, the place Hastings. Yes, it's the anniversary of the historic battle. On Saturday, Hastings will be the focus of much frolicking, including fireworks and a torchlight procession of folk in period costume. Perhaps you too have the makings of a conqueror. Forget Hastings, I'm talking about the other big bash at the World Conqueror Championships happening in Ashton, Northamptonshire on Sunday. So if you're bonkers for conquerors, this is for you. Tune in for the Great Dash on Sunday. Yes, it's Damon Hill's big day in Japan, the very last race in the Formula One season. Damon's on the verge of clinching the crown, but his teammate Jack Villeneuve just might snatch it. It'll be live on BBC Two at five o'clock Sunday morning. Ah, luckily it's repeated at eight o'clock. There's going to be an eclipse this weekend. Two weeks ago, we told you about the moon being eclipsed by the Earth. Well, now the moon is getting its own back and will be partially eclipsing the sun on Saturday between 2 and 4.30 p.m. It will be the best solar eclipse seen in Britain since 1961. Loads to look forward to, but it is important if you are planning to monitor the partial eclipse of the sun, that whatever you do, you don't look directly at the sun. It's not enough to just be wearing sunglasses. Looking directly at the sun, with even with protection, could damage your eyesight forever. Very, very serious. So here is the BP guide to a safer eclipse. First, never look directly at the sun. Beautifully modelled by Emanate here, but better still, tip number two, find out about your local astronomy group in your camp who are bound to be doing special viewings of the eclipse using projection screens. Thank you, boys. As soon as you like, in your own time. Marvellous, thank you. Or number three, make sure you watch tomorrow's Live and Kicking. Thank you so much. On cue, where Patrick Moore will be giving his expert advice. Thank you. And last, but by no means least, is to call Science Line. Now, calls cost the same as a local phone, phone call, and the number is 0345 600 444. That's 0345 600 444. And the line is being kept open for us, especially tonight until 8 o'clock. And should you be able to give you some good advice about viewing the eclipse? It's also going to be open from 10 a.m. tomorrow until 1 p.m. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Yes, and remember, don't go looking at the sun. Very important. Okay, yes. If you're watching the repeat on Monday morning, then you missed the eclipse anyway, but at least you know who's won the Grand Prix. Yes. Yes, and we will be back live on Monday afternoon celebrating 70 years of Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the, the moped Pooh. that you can't use during a solar eclipse. And I'll be joining the fire brigade for the day, but don't look at the sun. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Come on, Bye. Mabel, come on. Come on, come on Mabel. Here. Here. Can you play this piano? Can you? Right, like you like his eyes. Hello, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Blue Peter is back on Monday and oh, make yeah. sure you don't miss this beaming down on a TV set near you. Oh.